When someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets from the nose or mouth, which may contain the COVID-19 virus. This means if you're in close range with such a person, you can breathe in the droplets, including the COVID-19 virus if the person coughing has a disease. This is because the virus spread mainly through respiratory droplets. Thus, health experts such as the World Health Organization started using the phrase social distancing, recommending being one meter away from the nearest person as a way to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus from person to person. This is because currently there's no antiviral medication recommended to treat COVID-19. Some of the measures taken by government according to a presidential directive to make this possible was the restriction of church gatherings and operation of bars. Thus bar owners and patrons found not adhering were apprehended by police. But have the authorities left no stone unturned? These are vendors in Lusaka Central Business District have the authorities failed to contain the pressure from these vendors? Another example is that of Lusaka's Mutendere, where traders are not observing social distancing. The question is, are local authorities only concentrating on bars and church gatherings to observe social distancing? If the pandemic should be fought successfully, there's also need for the same efforts to be applied to street vendors gathered in thousands. Meanwhile, the Human Rights Commission has expressed happiness over the directive by Inspector General of Police, Kakuma Kanganja, to guide the police to restrain from using a excessive force during enforcement of the public health guidelines and the presidential directive. Human rights spokesperson Mwelwa Muleya says in as much as COVID-19 need to be contained, no human rights should be abused. Vanessa Banda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.